we can land here once again. Welcoming our bodies, hearts, and minds into this moment together. Maybe that means taking a few full breaths. Maybe that means stretching or wiggling. Maybe that means finding a soft resting place. And as we welcome ourselves here together in this moment, we welcome all of the parts. And we are always changing and shifting and evolving and going backwards sometimes. And so we welcome what's here today. And I've been thinking a lot lately about how we have to get to this point of where we have to be more dedicated to our own peace and our own hearts than we are to overwhelm and stress. And it is something that love has to do. I don't think it's something we can just do or turn on. I think it's something that just emerges through time and through continuing to show up and intending and remembering again and again what we love to have happen for ourselves. And today we'll be intending towards the experience of equanimity. Equanimity could be thought of as balanced maybe with a sense of calm and peace and with a heart that's wide enough to welcome the joys and sorrows and be able to respond instead of react. And I have to tell you what I mean by this because for decades I have been committed to healing and peace and growth and I wanted it so badly Yet I still suffered a lot. And I saw people around me seemingly waking up and freeing themselves, doing half of what I was doing in the name of peace and healing. And I felt disheartened and defeated a lot. Like I was the problem. Like maybe I was broken. Or maybe I just wasn't committed enough. Maybe I was, in quotes, in my victim. This is not something we need to be doing to ourselves. We've already done and been through so much. And maybe this is you too. Maybe this is a story you resonate with, or it's something that is happening for someone you love or really care about. When the peace is ready to come to the forefront and lead, It will. It's here. It's in us. It's somewhere just waiting for us to drop into. And so we just keep showing up either way, welcoming it. And when it arrives, we get to say hello. Sometimes it comes for five minutes or five days or five months, and then it goes. And we welcome peace when it's here and allow it to go when it goes, knowing that everything is impermanent. That's one thing we can trust. And so no matter what anyone tells you, this is a relationship you are growing on your own precious timeline. And for those of us who've experienced significant trauma or overwhelm, There is a load that our bodies carry along with that. Our bodies often still carry the burdens of our past without words attached to them. And the more we come into regulation, the more we expand wide enough and that load can lift. And it takes time. 
when our nervous systems aren't deeply supported to come into regulation, it can be so hard to just brush our teeth on some days and tend to the bare minimum of what needs to get done. And let alone practice the dozens of practices we think we're supposed to do to feel better. And so let's just let one thing be enough. And here's the one thing I'd like you to bring to yourself on these days. In the experience of letting be instead of letting go. And when we meet emotions and experiences we wish would go away, it takes effort and energy to try to let go. When we're ready and when we feel safe enough and full enough, things just go. So allowing ourselves to simply let be just as we are and know we are enough no matter what, this is the practice of equanimity. We've already been through enough, so let's make space for the kinds of support that allow us to just be instead of do. When we are here, balanced in our hearts and bodies, we are powerful beyond measure. And it can take a lot of faith to trust this and open to it as we support ourselves to keep allowing these layers of rice paper that have been placed over our precious hearts to fade and dissolve. And I know that there are parts of us that are wondering if we're softer, if we're gentler, will we still feel safe enough to move through our days without that protection of hardness and rigidity? And we welcome those parts. I feel tears just feeling those parts in myself. And when we are devoted to our deep peace in every moment, our discernment becomes really strong. We can say yes and no so much more easily because it is in service of our peace. We find our boundaries. There's a fierceness that arrives that is a protector of that peace. And that fierceness comes from love. And there's just more space here to be ourselves because being our truest selves brings an immense peace and settling inside. It becomes effortless. And equanimity, you'll be happy to know, doesn't mean not having emotions or wild, adventurous, internal and external experiences or that we lose our personalities because we're performing peace. It's not bypassing the messages of our present moment experiences, the it's all good or no worries or it is what it is. It's a slowing down and widening to open our hearts and minds to all that is here with balance and warmth. Knowing with every ounce of our being that life spirals and shakes through us and there is so much permission to feel what's here to be felt. We can become the deepest, calmest pool that has the most delightful, soothing temperature. And all the way down at the bottom, near where it's been shaped by stone and mud, and there's an immense quiet space that just has soft vibrations of ripples gently moving through. There's acceptance and quiet here. And we expand wide enough from this calm to welcome it all. And 
And the ripples and the movement on top become a dance. Not to be controlled. It's just part of life, part of the moment. But that stillness in the depths is always there. And that quote that we hear, no mud, no lotus, is this. When the mind and heart are quiet, like the depths of this water, the lotus flower blooms from the mud in the dark of night. And the deeper the mud, the more radiant the lotus. And it brings me peace to remember this. And let's settle back into allowing our bodies to become mountains like we did yesterday. And we can all laugh at the mixing and moving of my metaphors today. <laughs> and as we find some comfort for our bodies in this moment, we can sink in. We'll rest into this mountain and then we'll bring some regulation work in so that we can take it with us in an integrated way, so we don't have to think about it. And on your next few exhales, as you're settling into your posture, allow the exhales to pull you into the support of the earth. Allowing your body to be weighted. And we'll call on the image and experience of the mountain, getting, getting a sense in our bodies of what it would be like to sit as the mountain. Allowing and welcoming the base of our bodies, legs, pelvic bowl and hips. To be deeply supported. And as they rest into wherever your body is sitting or lying or standing today. And the base of our bodies are like the base of the mountain. And as we're arriving into this practice, and your eyes can be open or closed. And your body can be still or moving. There's no right way to do this. You try it on for yourself.
We can feel the way our torso and arms and head are resting and with some ease and rest upon the foundation, upon this base. You might even allow your a spine to elongate, reaching towards the sky. May I be balanced with a sense of calm and peace with a heart that's wide enough to welcome the joys and sorrows. May I be open to the way things are. May I be undisturbed by the ripples on the water. And we'll make our way to your right kidney and adrenal now for a couple of minutes. And you can even imagine that this right kidney and adrenal are part of the base of this mountain. Resting in your mid to lower back beneath that bottom rib. And we can just bring a little support here. Allowing for ease and rest. And then we can come on over to your left kidney and adrenal. We don't need to get the location perfectly, just resting a healing intention here is more than enough. 
And we can just come in with support, awareness and care. Whatever comes up, comes up as we're here with your left kidney and adrenal. It's all welcome. And then we'll float all the way up to your brainstem area. Welcoming your entire spine and central nervous system and all the little parts of your brain. And we can support right here at the place where your brain and spine connect at the top of your neck. And welcoming ease and flow, softness and comfort. Right here at the top of your mountain too. And then we'll support all three simultaneously. Right kidney, adrenal, left kidney, adrenal, and brain stem. And you can imagine this as a healing triangle or see it as the triangle of the mountain. And resting into this support.
whatever comes up and just asking yourself, can I just let this be okay? Or can I just let this feel different? And then we can rest in a healing silence here for a minute together. Integrating this work a little bit goes a long way. And take your time. And as you feel ready, you can shift. And tuning in to your body's experience and letting the next moment be something that supports the question we've been asking. What is the most loving thing I can do in this moment? And then we will move out into the rest of our days together. Thank you so much for your practice today, for your willingness willingness to let me guide you. And thank you for allowing me to walk this path with you and for giving yourself this precious time. Have a beautiful rest of your day.